Hello, I am Julie Joy of the Young Lightworkers, and I have an update number 11 entitled in What's Happening Now of a series of 111 messages in 111 days from Archangel Michael as channeled by Christine Burke. And this one is for October 10th, 2018. He says, I am Archangel Michael. Across the planet, individuals working solo and within groups are giving their all for the transition of Earth now underway. There are persons in every area of finance, government, military, media, law, art, science, and society working consciously to deconstruct and dissolve the corrupt collapse systems of domination and slavery, replacing them with new ways. These new ways are transparent, expansive, and designed for the highest good of all. These new ways will ensure the opportunity for all souls to set themselves free. Yet that is not enough. So also across this planet at this moment are those who are working intentionally and primarily within the inner realms. These unflappable souls focus on bringing through the changes of earth inwardly, beginning with their personal ascension. These are your gatekeepers, healers, grid workers, messengers, transmuters, transducers, joy holders, system busters, mediators, prayers, earth keepers, networkers, wisdom bringers, enlightened form builders, and many more. They work tirelessly, although in many cases they are exhausted and depleted. There are also the unspoken ones who at great risk infiltrate strongholds of corruption to end oppression. From your current view, it would be difficult to perceive the scope of what is now in motion to free Earth because the effort is that huge. Know this, Earth will be free. This story most certainly ends in everlasting glory. Let's travel in scope from our wide view of the massive global army of light all the way to one living room in one small remote cabin on a pristine little lake in North America. There we find several lead transmuters gathered with other embodied masters just like you. With the help of their network, family, pod, they have come from across the globe. New Zealand, Russia, the UK, Belgium, Spain, the US, and more are on their way. They have come to answer the clarion cry for help from two of their own. I will explain. You see, the only way to transform human dross, the energy humans have received from God and subsequently through the use of their free will, have used to create imbalance is to do it sincerely, meaning a person must experience imbalance in the form of feeling and actuality and then choose. God light love in the midst of the experience. The more difficult the experience, the more disqualified dense energy is restored to light and then available for the endeavor of co-creation. In order to free Earth, a tipping point of energy must be reclaimed and restored to light. This is transmutation done by a large global team of intentional transmuters who work around the clock to hold a bandwidth of light steady and open, helping ensure the achievement of the event and beyond. Of course, every embodied soul can and does participate in transmuting dense energy into light through their every light-filled decision and choice. At the same time, there is a planetary team consciously devoted to doing a larger share of transformation of energy on a larger scale. The members of this team go into the depths of life experience in all areas of being physical, 
emotional, mental, spiritual, to have intensely challenging experiences so that when they claim the light of God within these experiences, that very light is then able to flood into the depths and crevices of pain, creating an upward momentum and a pathway out of suffering for themselves and for others. The danger, of course, is that the challenging experiences can become so overwhelming that the person gets caught in the downward spiral of the experience, rather than transmuting their way up, up, and out. Also, members of the transmuting team do not simply finish their job once an area of density is transformed. Instead, with every victory, the members expand their capacity to transmute more personal and human dross and begin yet again. Back at the cabin, two members of the transmuting team were in trouble. One physically, this channel, and one emotionally and mentally. They had called to us for help and to their close network. When community comes together in the way this community responded, much can be done, not only for individuals, but for the greater good and freedom of all. The family gathered in quiet at the lake during the past 10 days, unaware of many other synchronized freedom events transpiring across the globe. Following their own inner guidance collectively, the little group, backed by their clan, plunged themselves into the deepest work of freeing themselves inwardly. They were caught in ways they could scarcely see. These veterans of inner spiritual work dared to face within any and every unfaceable hurt, torment, and violation. Stories and energies of ritualistic sexual abuse as children torture, theft, loneliness, abandonment, poverty, and domination were released, felt, and put into the violet fire for transformation and healing. The resulting momentum accomplished much. Not only did the endangered member free herself mentally and emotionally from the influences of the dark agenda, but the shared success sent the others hurling back into life to apply their hard-won gains to their everyday world, thereby spreading the gains far and wide. That is their active blessing. More than that, this small yet mighty group worked so sincerely and unified with such trust that the light they generated combined with every individuals and groups working similarly in faith to permanently create a rise in the threshold on earth. Meanwhile, quite often near death from the physical toll of transmuting and the ensuing attacks, the resulting light attracted, this messenger still began this series of messages at our request. Faith moves mountains. Like you, this channel will stop at nothing to realize freedom within and freedom for earth. The 111 messages will certainly still be delivered in 111 days. Now, some days we'll have two messages instead of one. Flexibility has been a requirement of all of us in the liberation of Earth and all up on her. These 111 messages in 111 days is one of the results of your request for more support through the transition. We hear you. We care. We are you. We will deliver this and more to meet your own contributions in kind. Stay unwavering in your commitment to the resurrection of Earth. Be flexible. You are the sometimes bedraggled yet always victorious heroes of this story. Go within to find what still needs purifying. Face it. Feel it and release it. Choose God. Be willing to trust the new others who are striving to do the same. Every choice either produces light or dross. Increase the light and claim your freedom once and for all. Serving alongside you, Archangel Michael. Now here we have a special note 
To beloved Sheldon Nidal and beautiful Colini, our prayers are with you. For so many years, we have gratefully received and put to work within your subtle and public encouragement and guidance. We would not be as free as we strive and claim to be without your profound service. We love you so much. Christine and Catherine, the can-do gals, and who needs light? The next two titles are number 12, Update, Testimonials of What's Happening, and number 13, How the Future is Creating the Present. Once again, this was channeled by Christine Burke for October 10th, 2018. Their website is whoneedslight.org. Dr. Catherine E. May, founder. My name is Julie Joy of the Young Lightworkers, and this story ends in glory.